Now, iFootage was kind enough to reach out to me a while ago and offer to send me one of their units. Currently, I am being lit with this unit. It's another continuous light source. I know there are other brands out there like Nanlite, USA. They have the ability to change the white balance in the light to match to your camera to get the perfect white balance. I'm aware of that. I personally have never been able to really experiment with that much. So when iFootage offered to send me their Anglerfish 200 BNA, I jumped at the chance because I wanted to really test it out and see if it was worth all the hype. Initially, I was hoping that this light would be strong enough to take outside, but sadly it's not strong enough to overpower the sun, nor does it have a battery, so you would have to use a power bank, which to me defeats the purpose. First of all, I want to be able to take small, lightweight lights outside in the field. We do not want to have to lug around a power bank and big, huge lights as well. So I think I'll stick to my Stella Pro for outside. But for in-studio, as well as video, I have to say this one is pretty remarkable. So I did a test. I've done approximately four shoots with this now. Um, I'm in the middle of teaching a child photo art workshop, so most of the shoots have been children. I also photographed a male character in studio using this light, and I also photographed a dancer in studio just to see how it would react under all of these different variant circumstances. Okay, so, First thoughts, I was really happy with the fact that they sent a deep octa with it. They also sent a grid. So deep octas are typically much more focused as far as the light, so less fall off, which I like, but adding the grid in like this right now really helps you dial in and really focus that light just onto your subject. So if you wanted to keep your backgrounds quite dark and you wanted to create those really high contrast portraits, this is definitely the light for that. Now, I don't have very many accessories for the Stella Pro lights. All I have is an umbrella and I've used a couple MagMod accessories with it. So I didn't get to really practice using this type of a modifier with this much focused light. So I can say that this in combination with absolute bang on color balance in camera is really truly remarkable. So I'll just show you, for instance, in this shot here, I took this shot of Ruby with the Angler Pro, and you can see how perfectly balanced it is. And then the same exact environment, didn't change my camera settings, anything. I replaced it with the Stella Pro CLX-10, and you can see that the white balance is completely out of whack. Now, of course, you can go into Adobe Camera Raw, and you can adjust that, all that other fun stuff, which is fine. But why not just get it right in camera? So much better, so much easier, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you some behind the scenes of me photographing various subjects using this light, and I'll leave it with you as far as if you think this is something that you would like to have in your studio setup. Let's get into it. <laughs> 